Hello again, Converge Collectors. Today we have number 206 and number 253. They look similar, so I'm going to group these two together like this. This is uh, Mobile Suit RX 9 slash C, and it's known as a Narrative Gundam C Pack. So it was an actual uh, animation called Narrative Gundam Narrative. I haven't seen or even heard of it. Anyways, in this wave, we have these other five. Okay. It's wave pound 15, by the way. So, so well, I just like to look at the gum. Yeah, 2019 is when this gum came out, so. Ah. Stand. So looking at this thing, it's a little confusing. C packs. I don't know what this C packs is. Let me focus on the monitor. There's a little blurb there if you want to pause and read that. And then later on, there's a little blurb here if you want to pause and read that. It doesn't explain what the A pack, B packs is. Well, maybe it does with those links, but there's nothing here explaining what the C packs is. So if you know, please uh, leave a comment. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's start with the robot here. So it looks like it's in crazy mode. Here's an image, by the way, from the same website. That, there it is, just flying around all white and normal looking. And then on the right side, it's all lit up in pink. I don't even understand what that stuff is. It just looks cool. <laughs> so. I have a suspicion this figure is mimicking this crazy mode here. So with that said, there's a lot of color going on on this robot. Let's start with the head. Does this come off? It does. Alright, so there's a round peg there. So you can see some sort of red chin, the black paint getting in there nicely, and then the eyes are translucent green, I think. But they painted black or something on top of it. But I can see light bouncing around in those tiny eyes. I think there's silver paint behind it. And then ten, let's go here. This is painted green here. So maybe some guns. Pretty plain back though. I think they could have printed what the mobile suit was, like the chassis number here. This is all deep too, but I don't think anything belongs in there. <laughs> Alright, so there's a little black there for the neck and a blue for the backpack. Let's pop this head back on. Yeah, you can actually articulate it a pretty good amount. We'll press it all the way down. And still, it articulates a little less before it collides. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yep, the arms articulate. Unfortunately, the paint app on this one isn't so great. You know, this metallic red isn't uh, covering the shoulder very well. There's a metallic black or dark gray for the elbows and the hands. The hand... I think that's a separate piece, but the paint might be sticking. Yeah, there's a peg there. Yeah, I'll get that later. There is a peg for that shield on the torso. It's not much back here, but uh, some panel details there on the, the hips and then the side of the legs. The side of the leg has a gray panel there. Interesting. Blue feet, a little overrun on the paint there. This metallic red coming across the knees. Bottom of the feet, pretty, actually not the greatest detail at all. Uh, more gray here, and then yeah, metallic black, I would say for the leg mechanism or whatnot. Now this shoulder's a lot better as far as the red paint goes. And now uh, this hand here on the right side has a, an opening for the uh, weapon. The hand's in upside down. I'm going to definitely have to fix this. Go. This is a metallic blue. Maybe that's the door to get in. Anyways, a lot of metallic going on. So it's 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 like it's almost a unicorn, but not. This shield looks like a unicorn shield, but uh, the metallic red, and then minor details on the back. And so that's gonna go here. And then the 
this antennae thing. We've got four of them. And then this is like a dark blue. It's not metallic though. And I'm going to glue that later. But for this video, we'll just try to get it in there. Hmm. It doesn't... That's really tight. There we go. Ah, oh, now this arm fell off. Well, anyways, I might as well get the gun in there. Now this gun is a gunmetal. This is a metallic. Good detail as usual. I like that there's air passing through it. <laughs> and that's just going to slide in here. The handle's pretty plain. But it gets hidden by the hand, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And then, yeah, this looks like a unicorn backpack to me. Very similar. I think these might be beam sabers. There's a lot of details. Maybe thrusters there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, there's a lot, a lot going on on that one. <laughs> well, let's move on to this one. <clears throat> Number 253 is chassis RX-0 Unicorn Gundam 01 Destroy Mode Final Battle Version. As a perplexing. I haven't seen this uh, particular robot in a cartoon, but uh, to my understanding, the Unicorn is the new face of Gundam. Uh, they have like a full-size version in Japan. So it appeared in its own TV show and movie and recuts and eh, it's just a popular one. But it's in closed mode, open mode, open mode with green or open mode with red and then I've seen pictures on this same page with it covered in crystals so there's a lot of weird things going on with this guy one of these days I'll actually have to try to watch some of this Gundam stuff but then I wouldn't be able to do these reviews okay some info there you go and then in this wave we got these other guys here so that's very similar just a different color doesn't say. It just says special selection. It doesn't say what wave, unless that's the first selection of the special selection. It does say 2021, if I didn't see that before. It's a blue colored gum. I, I don't know. I'm going to try this one. Oh, no way. There's a human hair. Oh, it's on the outside. Never mind. You can never make out the flavors of these things. All I know is it's sweet gum and then it's going to last two minutes. Okay, so we got two different baggies. So I think there's a stand. It was quite unexpected for a uh, mainline Converge series figure. start with the main robot here it's a matte white and then it's got this funky like aqua green metallic and all these uh, opened up panel areas so it's really cool I mean that would be hard to do I don't even understand how they do this as far as making this toy adding such small green lines unless there's some really poor children and they're literally hand painting these I don't know so the arms, they articulate the shoulders as usual. The hands also articulate. This one has a gun slot. This one is just closed. The bottom of the feet, dark blue. Panel details are okay. Um, just a lot of panels in general. All these unicorns. There's a gunmetal here for the knee. Yeah, the knees are gunmetal, like the hands. A little more gunmetal up here in the lower torso. Mm, and the elbows as well. This backpack thing, some thrusters, same blue as the uh, feet, and these little beam saber handles. They're just molded in. Or are they? Are they separate? I feel that wobbling. The backpack here is, uh, has an L shape there. And what's nice about the head here, it actually says RX-0, so you know what mobile suit number it is. And let's see if the, yep, nice round peg. A little gunmetal here as well. And then uh, the eyes are translucent green. So you can see the light bouncing around in there. Some silver behind it, I think. But then the other things are just painted this metallic green, but still pretty darn good. And also they got gunmetal into these little cannons up on the top of the, the head. 
So, a lot of great detail there. Looks like we have the open antennae here, and uh, it's painted gold on this surface. And it's got some texturization as well. So that just slides up in here. I'll probably have to glue that later. So these, I think, could break if you drop this model. Yeah, they seem pretty stiff. Okay, a little posing there to the side. There's a peg hole here, which would lead to this. I have not seen this shield before. This has got two giant, like, I don't know if those are Gatling guns, but there's eight, eight barrels. And this is all gunmetal paint as well. And some cylinders maybe, or ammo. And then that same green is here, as well as the gunmetal in the middle. So I think this thing expands and stuff in the, in the cartoon. I built this as a high grade model one of these unicorns just a regular red one all right so it's not going to go this way because it's colliding with the arm so i think it has to go this way upside down oh wait a second are these guns <laughs> i'm just looking at the uh, image there on the left and i almost feel like it's supposed to be like this maybe was that the way it just was this is matching the image, and no, I still can't get it off, so it was the way it was. So that's kind of weird. It it collides. I, I feel like they shouldn't have had this piece right here. They should just have two separate guns on two pins or something. So the only way I think you can actually mount this on the guy is maybe this way? It's kind of weird. I mean, it's upside down. This opening here is on the top of that image. Hmm. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something, I, I don't know how or what else to do. Look, look at this image here. So this is the front, or the bottom, right? So the shield wants to be this way. But the, the silly gun thing is getting in the way, I think. You can see that peg is barely in there. So, or they just needed a longer peg. Well, you know, it's not falling out. Eh, I guess I'll just leave it there until it falls out. Because it looks more like the cartoon there. Alright, so here's your unicorn gun. These are different magazines to stack up, I think. Nice metallic paint here. And it's going to slide in here. Oh, wait a sec, there's a peg hole on this side. <laughs> Let me try it. No, see, it still that doesn't make sense. No. Strange. Okay. Let's try to make sense of all this stuff. Hmm. It looks like it's supposed to mate to another piece. Maybe there's a bunch of other ones that you can make like a diorama or something. So we have ball ends. But where do the balls go? Right? It's not going to fit in these holes. This is really odd. <laughs> I can see maybe this shield flying on its own. I think I've seen images where I think these might be remote controlled. I see. So the ball goes into the base. And there's three different length rods. So they're not supposed to all be shown at the same time. But you can adjust the, the length of this thing. So maybe... Now I was thinking this is supposed to go into this base, but it won't. Unless you cut out like a section of it. Now, part of me wants to actually have this guy flying, but... Hmm... Where would this... Is there a peg on this? A second peg? No. I want to have, like, a peg so I can put this guy in here and have him fly, but... There's also a slot down in here. But 
there's no groove on any of these three parts. Hmm. That's really odd. I can't figure it out. Uh, or like uh, maybe they're future proofing for other the other uh, unicorns. I've seen other unicorns in the Converge lineup, so. But uh, honestly, I don't understand why it came with this whole bag of clear stuff. You know, when it can clearly display on its own. So, I'm not going to use these. I'll just save those for some other time when I have something that needs to fly and has a peg on it. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Very front heavy, as you can see. So that's why the, the stand helps out. Alright, so now it's not an issue, right? And then I kind of like how the stand is elevated. You can get the barrel down lower. It doesn't take as much space in a uh, display cabinet. Okay. Hmm. Alright, take a look at the differences between those two. And they have some other similar ones. So I picked up this uh, unicorn number 163 in the lineup. And it's got the red color scheme. And it doesn't have the Gatling guns or whatever guns are on the shield. But it does have the uh, hole on the other side as well. So they're, they're definitely future proofing for other, you know, configurations. <laughs> this is the unicorn in a closed fashion. Uh, so non-expanded version. <laughs> And then this is called a Banshee, it's number 39 in the lineup. Um, it looks like a unicorn, just different colors and a crazier antenna array. How do you imagine this thing is number 7 in the Converge series, this uh, unexpanded one? So this horn basically opens up to become, you know, a V. So that's, that's what's going on with the unicorn. <laughs> Yeah, see, so it's got, this has a bazooka, that has a slot for it, but they come with it, so a lot of variations on these guys. I think I prefer the red unicorn more. I just don't know why it would, why it would turn red versus green. Alright, well, very, very detailed, uh, like, just to, by design, these things have a lot of, like, grooves, panels, and stuff like that. In particular, the unicorn is just insane. There's just so many surfaces there. So it's definitely a really busy design. But uh, I like it. I think it's cool. Thank you for watching today. See you in the next uh, Converge video.